in this question we're asked which orbital we would add and remove an electron from if we were looking to make um, ions out of these different atoms. So the first one is selenium, which is right here. So in selenium, the outermost electrons are in the 4p orbital because this is the p block. And there are several other videos on this playlist where we talk about the s block, the p block, the d block, and so on. So in selenium, if we remove an electron to form a plus one cation, we're going to remove a 4p electron. If we add an electron, so we make it isoelectronic with bromine, we're also going to add an electron to the 4p orbital. So in this case, we would add and take out an electron from the 4p. For lithium, lithium is here in period two. This is a 2s electron. If we take away that electron, we take away the outermost electron, it's in the 2s orbital, because this is the s block in period 2. If we add an electron, there's still another electron we can put in the 2s orbital, so therefore we also add the electron to the 2s. Argon's a little bit different. For argon, which is here, it has its outermost electrons in the 3p orbital. If we take an electron away, it'll be isoelectronic with chlorine. That would be a 3p electron. But if we add an electron to make a negative one anion, we can't put it in the 3p because the 3p is full. Therefore, we have to add the electron to the 4s orbital, the next orbital that has space because the 3p is full.